गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम रुशाली धनोकर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर आई टी डिपार्टमेंट इन माई लास्ट वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट डिफरेंट सर्चिंग एंड सॉर्टिंग टेक्निक्स नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ अलगोरिदम द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एनालिसिस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटीज एंड सम एग्जाम्पल्स रिगार्डिंग अलगोरिदम दिस वीडियो कंटेन द शॉर्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग द अलगोरिदम सी इन दिस डायग्राम these are the components of algorithm which includes analyze implement experiment and design so let's see one by one what is meant by algorithm next this video contain the following points which includes good computer program what is algorithm algorithm properties or characteristics how to write algorithm example data structure point of view algorithm analysis and algorithm complexities and also some important questions which frequently asked in spppu exam pattern so let's see one by one first what is mean by good computer program next good computer program a computer program is a series of instruction to carry out a particular task written in language that computer can understand so this is called as computer program we will write a computer program in our own language that is natural language or english language right but computers can understand each and every program in binary language or binary format that's why we use a different compiler or interpreter the process of preparing and feeding the instructions into the computer for execution is referred as programming so programming means sequential instructions they carry out a particular task and computers for the execution of each and every line to deliver a particular output clear there are number of features for a good program so how to write a good computer program the computer program should run efficiently and correctly have a user friendly interface be easy to read and understand your program should easy to debug easy to modify and easy to maintain this is the key features of the good computer program clear next so what is meant by algorithm algorithm means step by step recipe for solving an instance of problem every single procedure that computer perform is an algorithm algorithm simply means step by step instruction then how to solve a particular program in finite number of steps clear algorithm state the action to be executed and the order in which this action are executed it is a sequential instructions that perform the particular action clear algorithm is a well ordered collections of clear and simple instruction of definite and effectively computable operations we executed each and every instruction that produce a result and stop executing at some point in a finite amount of time rather than just going an order infinitely algorithm always have a finite amount of steps clear they doesn't have any infinite steps they have proper input and proper output algorithm plus data structures which equal to your computer program clear next so uh, below are some algorithm properties and characteristics not all procedures can be called as algorithm algorithm should have following characteristics there are unambiguous input output finiteness feasibility and independent these are the six properties or characteristics of algorithm let's see one by one first what is meant by unambiguous algorithm should be clear and unambiguous each of steps in algorithm and their inputs and outputs should be clear and must leads to only one meaning means each and every steps which include in algorithm have most clear and unambiguous don't be complex clear the next one is input algorithm should have zero or more well defined inputs we will provide proper input or proper data types of input to the algorithm output algorithm should have one or more well defined output and should match the desired output you write a specific algorithm in proper format or in more clear way so your output is match with the desired output clear 
The next one is finiteness. Algorithm must terminate after finite number of steps. There are specific number of steps for you should write a algorithm. Next feasibility. Feasibility means it should be feasible with the available resources. Proper database, proper data structure, proper programming languages. It should be used while writing the algorithm. So your algorithm is most feasible. And last one is independent. Algorithm should have step by step direction. We should be independent of any programming code. If you write the algorithm in proper manner, so that algorithm will be implemented in any programming languages, either in C, C++ or Java, etc. So it, it will be independent, clear? So these are the properties of or characteristics of proper or finite algorithm, clear? Next. So how to write the algorithm? This is one just simple and specific example of write the algorithm. The problem is design an algorithm to add two numbers and display the result. Simply we have to perform addition operation here okay, and display their result. So algorithm means step by step instruction. You should mention the step number that is step 1, 2, 3 etc. Algorithm always start with the start word okay, and end with stop means finite number of instruction. It not be infinite. Clear? So for addition purpose, the first step is start. Second step, we have to declare three integers like A, B and C. Clear? Algorithm is simple in your own or in specific English language. Clear? So we can declare three variables A, B and C. This is your second step. In start, third step, we have to provide the value to A and B for addition purpose. So define value of A and B. In fourth step, we have to perform addition that is add value of A and B. Clear? Next step 5, we have to store the output of A and B into the C. Clear? Suppose A is 10 and B is 5. So 10 plus 5, 15. We have to store the output into the C. And last step is print C. We have to display the result of C. This is your sixth step. And last stop. Clear? So this is the simple structure of algorithm and in this way you should implement your program in future. Clear? This is called as algorithm. Algorithm tell the programmers how to code the program. So alternative approach of algorithm is like this. This is your own language but we have to implement algorithm in programmatical way also. The first step is start add means you have to perform addition so you should mention here the add operation. Clear? Clear? The second step is get values of A and B. You should implement your program in C++ language. So how to read your uh, values by using C in variable. Okay. So get values of A and B. After that perform A plus B and store result into the C. The next step display C. Means you have to perform display operation here. And last stop. Clear. So this is just simple example of algorithm. Algorithm means step by step instruction and finite number of instruction whether it is start and you have to mention stop here clear next Now data structure point of view in data structure there are different algorithms are generated There are some search algorithm algorithm to search an item in data structure sort for sorting items in data structure insert algorithm for insert items in data structure one by one then update algorithm, update algorithm, update an existing item in data structure. Delete, delete algorithm, delete an existing item in data structure. So searching, sorting, insert, update, delete, this kind of algorithms we have to implement in data structure. Clear? So this is just a one simple diagram. We have only one problem, okay? But we provide different types of solution like solution 1, 2, 3, 4 for that particular problem. So this solution which consider as the algorithm. We have to provide different types of solution for a specific problem. Clear? Next. Of the next part is algorithm analysis. The efficiency of algorithm can be analyzed on two different stages. The first stage is before implementation and second stage is after implementation. 
So algorithm analysis has two types priori analysis and posterior analysis. So what is mean by priori analysis? Priori analysis is done before implementation. Okay. Priori analysis is a theoretical analysis of algorithm. The efficiency of algorithm is measured by assuming that all the factors. Okay. So priori analysis simple means before implementation we have to assume each and everything like what what will be the output of particular program what will be the speed of that particular program so we just give the assumption regarding the implementation okay so this is called priori analysis okay and posterior analysis is done after the implementation this is the empirical analysis of algorithm posterior analysis means we have to definitely choose a particular programming language for the implementation okay the selected algorithm is implemented using programming language this is then also executed on target computer machine so posterior analysis means actual result or actual statistics and prior analysis means only assumption okay so posterior analysis examples are running time and space required for the particular program so posterior analysis gives actual statistics or actual result and prior analysis means just assumption what will be the result of that particular program clear so this is called as algorithm analysis prior analysis and posterior analysis prior analysis done before implementation it just give the assumptions and posterior analysis done after the implementation which gives actual result clear next the next Now, part is algorithm complexities suppose x is an algorithm and n is a size of input data so time and space is used by the algorithm x okay while uh, implementation or generation of algorithm there are two main important factors like time factor and space factor time factor where time is measured by counting number of key operations such as comparison in the sorting algorithms which type of operations are performed on the algorithm how many comparisons are there which type of database and the processors are used for all this assumption which specified the time complexity of that algorithm and next one is space factor space is measured by counting maximum memory how much memory or how much space is required by the algorithm this is called as space factor in my next video i will explain in detail about time complexity and space complexity with examples the complexity of an algorithm f of n gives the running time and storage space required by the algorithm so what is mean by f of n what is mean by n and means size of input data so these all things i will explain in detail in my next video clear so you just remember this thing algorithm complexity include time complexity and space complexity time complexity depends on number of key operations number of comparisons etc and space complexity depends on maximum memory clear next Uh, these are the some important questions which frequently asked in SPPO exam pattern, which includes what is algorithm, their characteristics, their analysis, examples according this marks. Clear? Next. So uh, hope so you understood each and every points regarding the algorithm, their analysis, etc. In my next video, I will explain in detail about space complexity and time complexity of algorithm. Keep practicing.